So today I'm taking the things that I bought at Daiso and I'm gonna be making some projects with them. I'm gonna be using adhesive vinyl for these two and iron-on for these two. Um, I'll take you to design space and I'll show you the designs that I'm gonna cut out. So we're gonna be doing these two designs for the heart mirrors and I'll show you how I got these. Um, we're gonna put a heart and we're gonna use this as our template. So I'm gonna make this three inches wide because the mirror is about three inches wide. And then we're gonna just add the text. So I'm gonna type Angie and I'm gonna use a font called Almanade. And resize it and making it pink because I'm gonna cut it out of Tech Wrap Hot Pink Opalescent Vinyl. So that looks good. I'm also re-measuring re on the side just to make sure that it fits. And then for the A, I'm cutting it out of the pattern Hello Kitty vinyl, so I wanted something blocky so you could see the print. And this one, I just used Arial Black. So we're just gonna resize this and maybe I'll make it red so you can see better. That looks good. And I'm gonna check the dimensions on the side on the actual product. Okay, so we can hide the heart because we're not gonna cut that out. And these we can hide and delete. And I'm gonna cut it out and it's gonna be on two different mats. So one hint is to go to your Chrome browser and go to Word Market. This really helps when you're trying to find a specific font. So I was looking for a bold A and this was way easier than going in Cricut and looking for it. So this is the design that I chose for the bike and I'll show you how to recreate it. We're just gonna make a rectangle. So we're gonna unlock the square and change it to seven by four and a half inches. And that's the size of the bag. And I'm gonna make it light gray so we can get a feel of, for the design better. And I already chose this image. I just typed in choose happy into the keyword and it's already in design space. And I'm just gonna align it or make it the size that I think would look good. So that looks good. I'm just gonna delete this one and then hide the box and cut it out. And this is gonna be on iron-on. So I'm gonna mirror, very important. And it's gonna be on glitter vinyl. So I'm gonna choose the glitter iron-on. So here are the items that I cut out. The Hello Kitty is the removable matte uh, Cricut vinyl. It says removable, but really, especially if it's on a, a smooth surface, it lasts pretty long. Um, I'm using this Tech Wrap Chrome Holographic in Hot Pink, and this is also adhesive. And Cricut Glitter HTV, and also some scraps. I have like so many of these like glitter scraps, but they're so pretty. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna attempt to do with those. It'll be a first time kind of project, but I'm just gonna weave this out. Okay, 
so for the adhesive final I'm going to wipe these two with the alcohol wipe just to remove any um, I might as well wipe on the inside too any oils that might be on there okay, I'm gonna let this sit on the side and dry so the first bag I'm gonna do is this cottony pouch but it is nylon on the inside so I'm gonna put a towel on the inside and it's just this is just a dish towel um, nothing too fluffy I kind of want it flat as possible hopefully this doesn't melt through the nylon on the inside Opening it. I will just go this way. Okay. So this is pretty flat. To get as flat as possible. Okay. Sorry about my nails. This is the Daiso stickers, and I mean, it lasted like about a week. Um, but of course, the fingers that I use the most fell off so but I have a an order that just came in from Dash and Diva and I really wanted to try it so I wanted to film it so I wanted to wait till yeah I have time um, so this is Cricut glitter vinyl it's on the thicker side like I like it the color is nice it looks really great but it's thick and it takes a long time so when I looked up on the Cricut heat guide it said medium for 25 seconds for the glitter on a cotton. I put cotton poly blend just because it has the cotton on this or the polyester on the inside. So sometimes that's a little too much for the nylon, but we'll try it and whatever. It's just something to experiment with. So let's go ahead and do it. It's kind of hard because it's not that flat. Well, yeah, we will just attempt this. Okay. So medium heat, 25 seconds, circular motion. So I'm just gonna let this cool on the side. <clears throat> And these two should be ready. Okay. So I'm gonna try something different. Um, I saw this. What did I see? I don't know. On Instagram or something. But I guess you can use. Oh, I think it was Rhinestone World. Okay. So he uses like this Scotch Bright Pet Extra Sticky Lint Roller. And it's. And the sheets are different than a regular lint roller because it's clear. So we shall see if this works super easily. Oh, it's really big. Maybe I'll cut it because I don't need that much. I'm just going to be doing this on here and this on here. It is extra sticky. Let's see if this works. Let's try this simpler one first. It is very clear, so that really helps. Yeah, it works. Okay, 
I'm not sure if I love this Hello Kitty thing on this glare, but it's okay. I think that's a really good trick especially with this font if I have the regular um, transfer paper like I usually use this especially with this like thin script font I'm like peeling it making sure like it's not coming out but this tape was like amazing definitely gonna use this more often so if you're curious I bought this on Amazon I couldn't find it in the store or the, the one store I went to um, but I think it has to be this extra sticky pet one yeah it was maybe five dollars or less and it has 95 sheets and this was maybe a third and you can probably use it again it's so sticky I should just stick it on, back on there okay so for Oh, I should take off. I don't know if you can see this, but... Oh, there's one part I need to redo. Um, I don't know if I melted it, but it looks a, like a little bit melted. But I kind of like it better like that. It looks more like it's not just vinyl stuck on. Let me see if you can really see. See how it's kind of like, it looks like it's painted. This is the first time I'm opening this white glitter vinyl. So I don't know how it is on a regular shirt. Okay. I'm just going to fix this bottom part right there. So what I did was I had all of these pieces already off the carrier sheet of just scrap glitter HCV and I just punched them out with this little hole punch. I think I saw this on um, TikTok or something where I think in the video she used a big heart hole punch and adhesive vinyl so you can use them as stickers like you put wrap something up and you put a, a heart sticker on top. Um, I don't know if people do this on the HTV, but so I just punched it out. This was actually easier than trying to do the adhesive vinyl for me. I could not get it to punch. I think because it has the backing and everything, but the HTV works really well. And it's easy because glitter to tell which side is which. So what I'm gonna do for this project is I'm going to just put these all over and you know, randomly you know, scattered. I don't know, I get so tired of having everything having like words or a saying on it. And like sometimes just something simple is good. So I'm just gonna cut out maybe two more. This is a tiny hole punch, so it is kind of, you have to press hard. And this, because there's no carrier sheet, you will need um, Teflon or parchment paper. It would be easier if this was flat. Just from looking at it, it looks like it's on. Like, but okay, that's super cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I think about one right there, punch more out, and 
do the other side too. Yeah, so these are all super stuck on. Let's see how the nylon held up. Yeah, perfectly. Like, it's not stuck or anything. I'm kind of impressed because obviously this was only like $3. But yeah, I think it looks even better. Let's check out this one. Hmm, maybe I should put some white hearts on this side. Okay, I might do that real quick. So is that an improvement or what? <laughs> Looks totally different, right? I really like this one. This one, yeah. I should have done a different saying on this one too, but yeah, so far I love it and I'm not loving this, but it's okay. This one's cute. This could even go on top, like on the zipper. Oh yeah, that would be cute. Maybe I'll put that on there. Okay, that's way better. I think it really adds. But yeah, well, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Um, if you like this, I'll try to do more random blank projects because total of this was like $3, $3, and then $1.50, $1.50. This is like a $10 project with scraps. So I think we did really good today. But yeah, thanks for watching.